Hey everybody, welcome to ADL Season 5, Game 2 of Siren Songs vs. CK. Um, as we saw in the first game, Siren Songs, they had a slightly, a little bit of trouble in the early game. Kind of stumbled a little bit, but then they were able to get a, a dominant, dominant win up against uh, CK there. Their anti-armor, anti-magic resistance strategy just... Worked out very well. They were able to get some very nice epicenters coming out on off the Sand King. I think it was Colt Bear. And they just were able to take the game off of, I want to say, four, four separate team fight engagements. One at, the, one at the Roche Pit, one top, and then one kind of in the mid lane again. Or sorry, midway down the uh, top lane. There's an... Excellent draft coming out, and we're into game two. Um, this time, uh, Captain Crunch takes Jakiro and a Coddle, which is an interesting choice. And the Earthshaker gets picked up by Siren Songs, which was actually banned very early by Side Serial Killers there. But they also go with the Chen as well. So, looking for some push strat there of global help, kind of. Um, Chen is a lot of, you need a fair bit of early push. Now, if you get the Ags, the creeps can be very strong. Like, cause you get full control of ancient creeps then. And you can use them to, uh, break the base. But it's still, it's... I wouldn't say it's hard to find that, but it's usually not an item you just rush on Chen. Like, you want to go for, you want to get your mana boots and a mech, maybe, or... Like these early game items, you don't want to just first item rush for that because then you sit in the jungle too long. Plus, also Chenyans usually want to be very active. You know, ganking when everybody's still level like one, two, three, not not waiting a very long time or just sitting passively in the jungle. Reserve time. Um, but a couple of bands coming out. The bands coming out from each team. They do, they do ban the Skyrath Mage as well. Second phase, which was a which was a hero that was used by Sirens last time. This is a good hero used to good effect. And they do ban the Puck, so banning out a mid there as well. Um, I'm assuming this will be a support shaker. They picked it very quick. Ooh, Spectre. So a fair bit of late game coming out for the side of serial killers there. And I think Caudal is better in the late game than people really give him credit for. Well, um, because he, he can push, split push out lanes by himself, or help a hero teleport and farm around. Um, I think if you're gonna combo a, a hard carry with Keeper of the Light, you probably want to go with a. Uh, Dyer's pick. Excuse me, a hero that's a lot less mobile, like uh, say a Sven. And so you have the Coddle run around, run to this side of the map, recall him to that side of the map, and then Radiant Sven farms it. I mean, well, Sven's farming that Coddle runs to the other side of the map and farms it. Coddle is not very active. Or you can go with someone who's like hyper mobile, like an anti mage, who's always blinking around and can just be completely gone on the other side, farming the enemy jungle. If he gets in trouble, recalled back. Or something along those lines. Um, and then also in the late game, if you have a hero that, like, if you're trying to push into the enemy's base and carry dies, he can buy back. Spectre can buy back and haunt in. And then somebody else can buy back and get uh, called in, recalled by the, um, by the Keeper of Light. Now, on the side of Siren Songs, we do have them pick up a Nyx Assassin, so that Keeper is going to be scared. Very, very scared, especially if this is run as a core Nyx, which I wouldn't be surprised if it was a mid. If it was a mid Nyx Assassin or an offlane is where it'll be. I doubt they'll run it as support, but that Keeper of the Light is going to have a very hard time. I do like the Axe pickup. I think Axe is a very solid hero. Can start off in the jungle fairly easy, level 1 if you want, especially if he gets a little bit of help. Maybe keep it light, either giving him mana so he can spam that Berserker's Call, or just, you know, il illuminate a camp so that it's hurt before he runs in. Um, Five seconds. But it's, I, I like the pick. He can all, he's also very good at just bullying heroes around, especially squishier heroes early. Um... Morphling though, Morphling is an interesting pick here. Um, as far as shotgun targets go, the obvious one so far is Keeper. Jakiro is fairly tanky for an intelligence support, but that's still not tanky enough to withstand a uh, maxed adaptive strike 
Monkey Blade just all over your face. But, what do you do? So, then, another, a band came out. They banned Marana, which, I guess Marana shake her, but, I don't know. Let's see what the last band is coming out from Siren Song. Um, so far, I think, I imagine this is how Sirens is going to run their lanes. They're probably going to want to run the Morphling in their safe lane with the Chan in the jungle and I imagine a Shaker watching his, like, just as a defensive Shaker with a Nyx Assassin. Um, I think Nyx Assassin would actually be alright and wouldn't be terrible in the off lane here. Um, assuming that this is assuming that they're going to run the Spectre in the safe lane. Axe in the offlane with a Jakiro Caudal kind of or just around stacking and pulling and maybe rotating and they go with a lone druid. So Keeper of the Light mid? Spectre mid? Hmm. They don't have a traditional mid hero so I'm not sure what their plan is for this so far. They could also be a lone druid mid, farm up with the bear and keep his hero at range. Um, Siren Songs also don't have a very strong mid. And now, well, I think Nyx could definitely do it up against Lone Druid. I wonder what they'll want to go for as a um, as an offlaner. A lot of the big offlaners are still in the pool and haven't been touched. You still have Tide is still in there. Life Stealer is also a pick you could choose to go with the Nyx Assassin. So they want to do a lot of stealth ganks and just uh, Nyx bombs coming out, which is fair enough. Um, I like that. So I think it'll be a Nyx Assassin core. Usually is how it'll be run. Um, quickly run through the lineups here. For the side of Siren Songs, we've got uh, Juice for Zeus on that Morphling. Better get ready. Cactus Charm coming out playing the Life Sealer, who's got that... Uh, take a quick look at that. That scary looking uh, helmet of transmuted armaments. Very scary looking Life Sealer. For what it's worth. Then we've got, an, got Colt Bear on the Nyx Assassin, who's also got a very funky set as well. What is this set? Helmet of the Chosen Larva. Lovely. Then on the Chen, we've got tr Just Try to Rhyme Orange. He's got nothing fancy. Earthshaker. Looks like he's got a crown of a sort. Okay, he's got the Samurai Soul set on Earthshaker, but, and that Earthshaker is being handled by Gravity Muffins. Then we've got Trix playing the offlane Axe with the... Ooh, this is going to be interesting. This is an aggressive offlane. I like this. This is way more exciting. Captain Crunch is going to be playing the Jakiro. Trix is playing the Axe, and Sugar Crisp is on the Caudal. None of them have cool cosmetics, so I'm not going to click. This Spectre, though. Whew! Fruit Loops is pretty fancy on the Spectre, and it is going to be a mid Spectre. Changing some last hits there with uh, just try to rhyme Orange, who went with Penitence at level one. This is going to be good. Hmm. I wonder if we're going to see something weird where Chen goes for like four four zero kind of thing, something funky like that. Wheatbix is up on the Lone Druid. He does have a bear camping the rune that's already gone. But they do get a they do get a sentry in the camp to block the camp right What's here. With all the um, but there's a defensive ward for the side of Siren Songs. Oh, and they're just being they're being zoned back very hard by this uh, Keeper of the Light. Make sure you get level two, buddy. Meanwhile, on the other side, we've got a Colt Bear on the Nyx Assassin with just try to rhyme orange on the Chen. And I think running this Chen not in the jungle, while is going to catch them off guard, I don't think is going to be very effective. I think it's going to allow this tri lane right here to just blow up these creep waves and ruin this tower. I think they're going to have the Jakiro Axe and the Keeper of the Light rotate around to this other side of the creep wave and just... Oh my. So look it comes out for... Solo Exchange comes out for uh, the Morphling there. So I, that, way better for the Morphling. He managed to get the experience with that. But sorry, I missed that first Blood Boys. I wasn't expecting the 
Morphling I expect her to be aggressive. I figured they're both just gonna sit and farm for 40 to 40 minutes before they decided to do anything so We get first point up in liquid fire I'm just gonna slowly chip away this tower But life Sheila has rotated into the jungle from the lane as he was not getting any farm there Good for him to hold on to that skill hold that point and feast and just kind of be very patient with it. Trick Chris does get an illusion rune. And looks like he wants wants to rotate over to Fruit Loops. Um quick look at the last hits. Fruit Loops mid is basically tied. Fruit Loops has one more deny two more denied, sorry. Ooh, Keeper rotates in and is going to force some pressure. This bottom tier one, it's already taken about a third of da a little over a third of its health and damage. It's gonna be dropping very quick. Um, Wheatbix is doing fairly well as far as experience goes up in this lane. He's not getting quite the last hits he, he wants. Uh oh. Penitence comes out on him. That's going to slow him down just a little bit. But I don't think they're going to be able to do anything with this. Some calls his bear back. My carapace comes out. They're diving this very hard. Ooh, missed stun. Very close. I still don't think they get the kill even if that lands. But. This aggressive Chen build is not working out, and we did have a nice rotation coming out from the side of Captain Crunch. He gets the Ice Path on there, and I think that's going to be a dead Chen. going to burn down one more right-click from the bear. Is he going to make it out? Yep, yeah, there it is. Actually, range auto-attack coming from Weepix himself. So, good rotation from Captain Crunch. makes it, Gives that a turnaround, and unfortunately, that gives a lot of room to this uh, Radiant safe lane, which the tower is over half dead already so i think you'll want to rotate down there fairly quick make sure you get that early tower not just uh let it go i imagine that's just some harass coming out on the side yeah colt bear's just gonna get harassed back but with that naturally incredibly high regen and tango he should be all right gravity muffins on the sport earth shaker is going to be happy about getting this uh interesting choice to use call there creeps are all hitting him anyway um He's going to be happy soaking up this experience, but I think this is going to push into the tower very quick, especially with Keeper back down here. Chakram himself in a second here. Kill some of his mana. Really needs that level 2 in Chakram, though. Illuminate Blast is going to come out and does land on Gravity Mix. It puts some very low tricks. It wants to get aggressive, but not quite going to happen. You have a race for this rune. Ice Path is going to come out and hits Zeus for Zeus, but it's not even going to worry about it. He's got a bottle. And I think it's good that they're rotating the Jakiro back down to this bottom lane to get the kill. Sorry, to finish off that tower. Meanwhile, Morphling is leading the CS chart in the mid lane. Uh, Fruit Loops is only two creeps behind, so he's doing all, he's doing fine. Bolt Bear in the off lane is just behind the off lane axe. So he's doing all right as well. Um, this tower, though, is getting lower every time, and I think Trix is going to look to cut this wave. He doesn't have his tranquils, but he's got that ring of uh, protection there, so he's got the extra health. Yeah, he's looking to drag this creep wave way out of there. And I don't think there's a whole lot they can do. Lifesteal is level 3, so he's got a... Hmm... Went for that extra point in feast rather than getting the range increase in open wounds. Not sure if I'm a fan of that. Done. is going to come out on the side of tricks, but... Threw it from too far away. Coddle's there to back him up as well, and Jakiro in the meantime is just chipping away at this tower. It's only got 230 health left. We do have an engagement coming out. A slow comes out into tricks. He gets matted up. He's got. Bottom tower seems this is like the slowest chase I've ever seen. Bottom tower and in the meantime, Jakiro just casually takes the tower. So an unfortunate rotation from uh, Siren Song. He's not just not quite sure what to do against this Jakiro push. But uh, Juice for Zeus is using Fruit Loops' own dispersion and. Oh, it doesn't have any points in uh, Desolate yet, but using his Dispersion against him. Fruit Loops is level 6 now, so he does have that ulti and can come to a fight if one does break out. Meanwhile, Weepix is just sitting on farming away. Not sure where his bear's at. Was chasing the Nyx, yep. Yeah. Got an Orb of Venom on it as well, so he can get that extra bit of harass. Smoke Rotation coming out from uh, Cactus Crunch, and they're going to find the Keeper of the Light, but they don't quite seem to react to it in time. They had different expectations. Uh, Earthshaker was looking to go bottom onto somebody else, and Spectre ulti comes out, and that's going to zone them back. Oh no! 
What happened to Spectre? How did he end up there? Must have been trying to dagger through, but they, they don't know he's up there. He's gonna see the Morphling. Dagger comes. Dagger misses on the Morphling. Actually, on everybody, but they're gonna be able to get this Morphling, I think. Hasn't started morphing to strength yet, but should very soon. And he doesn't, doesn't manage to get it off. Ice Blast coming out. Nope, manages to miss. I think this Lifesealer is going to make her just barely. Yeah. Oh, Morphling. Juice for Zeus is apparently lagging. And that, that could easily explain why he was having a hard time getting it out, getting it off. Let's see how bad it is for a quick second. Juice for Zeus. Yeah, it's about 200, 200 ping. That's not ideal by any means. Oh, Jakiro goes down. Tries to get one more liquid fire off on that tower, but it's gonna drop. Morphling does rotate down. He's got a waveform, gonna catch up. Brings down the Caudal. One more right click, and the axe is gonna drop as well. So a double kill coming out for Juice for Zeus. Good turnaround there after a very unfortunate uh, death early. Fruit Loops is farming well. He's got that uh, Ring of Health and Boots of Speed, so. I assume he's going to go for a vanguard with that, would be the uh, standard item choice, but we'll see. Lupix is just farming away up in the top lane. An article of faith. Mid, Coddle does rotate in and looks like they want to go, but... Ice Path's good, but it does have limited range. Chen does rotate through. Chen has gone for a very strange build, and I think if they wanted to do this with a hero, they should have just picked Ogre Magi. I don't believe he was banned, and his slow is better, and he has infinitely more nuke potential. Like, his Ogre's slow at level 1 is 20%, and it does, like... 125 damage at level 1. And since it's 14, doesn't do any extra damage. Doesn't do any damage itself, only just bonus damage, which, when it's not slow enough to hit, it doesn't mean anything. Oh, I, I mean, the Chen pick itself, I think, was fine, but just the way they decided to use it, I think, was a, was a mistake. But, that's how she goes. if anyone's watching. Oops. Doesn't look. I'm not sure which game that is. It's our game or what. But... Meantime, Trix is just pushing down the wave. He's working towards his Blink Dagger. He's over halfway there. Our Shaker is rotating in the range, but again, good boards coming out on the side of Fury Killers. They spot that rotation out, and looks like they want to go on it. Captain Crunch can't decide. Finally gets his team to rally behind him. Nick Assassin is coming out. He's level 6. And I think if they decide to go on this Keeper of the Light, he's toast. All you gotta do is find him, buddy. Hasn't popped Vendetta yet. They're just kind of juking around each other. Neither team really going in. Just try to rhyme. Try to rhyme to Orange is coming out. Nice Fissure comes out on Captain Crunch, they get the penance on him. Another uh, Echo Stomp, sorry, Echo comes out onto him. Not Echo Stomp, oh. Impale comes out on tricks, but this Axe is tanky. Spin, buddy, spin! I'm not able to get the spins. Fruit Loops does rotate in. Nice Ice Path on two comes out. Cactus, Cactus Charm is trying to run away, but he's going to be able to make it. Colt Bear is dying, getting very low. Fruit Loops is doesn't have any boots yet, he's not able to chase him down. Hasn't bought them yet. Or they're they're coming on the courier right now. Morphling sees the courier, but he's gonna is he gonna be able to get it? And that is a courier kill as well. So two for one exchange plus a courier. I mean it's probably fairly even as far as golden experience goes. Let's see if the what the graphs say. Uh well it'll be more experience for the side of um hero killers due to the hero kill, but the gold graph is Plus or minus a thousand, and in the meantime, this uh, oh, Wheatbix is just doing lone druid things, 
just mow druid things up on the top lane. Uh, I like that he's not just going straight for Midas. He is buying he bought phase boots on his bear. Oh, meanwhile, in the bottom lane, Morphling is able to pick up a kill. Looks like a waveform to finish off the Jakiro. Rix comes in just to finish off that illusion. There's no to that. Earthshaker picks up his mana boots. So he'll be a lot more effective as well. Be able to keep that fissure spam coming. Fruit Loops, I think, is, is probably just going for a... Um, with the max dispersion build, it makes me think that he's going to go for a, a Vanguard. Which I don't think is a bad idea. Especially now if he wants to build it into a Crimson Guard. I think would be alright. And it can be very tanky. Um, which is kind of what Spectre wants. But it'll be interesting to see. Oh, we get a, another uh, Fissure on Sugar Crypt there. Followed by the Enchant Tome Stun. Ooh, Juice for... Zeus it misses the waveform and doesn't have that point in... Oh, nice ice path from the high ground coming up from Captain Crunch. Didn't have the point in Adaptive Strike to finish him off. It's not quite able to get there. Take a look at Net Worth. So, Morphling is leading Net Worth, which is not surprising. Um, Fruit Loops, then Weepix, and then it's the Axe and the next Assassin tied for the respective teams for that uh, fourth place. Fissure comes out into Fruit Loops. But they're just asking now. Penance comes out. Oh, they make a replicate of it. They want to go on this. Waveform finishes the kill. Nicely done. And I guess that 26% bonus damage is a fair bit of damage, but I'm just I'm looking at their team and if they're not pushing with the Chen, who's gonna who hits towers here? In the meantime, we've got Lone Druid. He's almost got a solo kill on this next assassin. If he gets a lucky entangle, nope. Nothing happens bottom. The Chen heal did come out, which is probably also for his teammates bottom as well. Cactus Charm is dropping very low. Liquid Fire's on him. He's going to rage it off. Axe manages to finish down, finish off the um, Earthshaker. Keeper of the Light does drop as well. Vector comes in, finish off the Chen, and so far it's a 3 for 2 exchange. I, think, I don't think they'll be able to finish the Morphling. Starts Morphling the Strength. He's out of mana, but... He's got a thousand health and the next assassin's back instantly goes into vendetta he's gonna look to finish off tricks nope that's to back off they have a, no sentries but they got wars here and here which i think is as always i think vision wins games but the teams are even right kill score is basically even experience is actually even gold two thousand in favor of terror killers but they've been doing all of this work without this lone druid. This guy, he's just farming away. He's got 1300 gold after just buying his tranquils. And I imagine, I don't know if he's going to do something weird, like now go into Radiance, or if he's just going to go for maybe now into Basher on the bear and just kind of look to push towers or something like that. Like, because he's already taken the one, t the, that, yeah, the top tier one. And now with the uh, max liquid fire, they're looking to start chipping away at this uh, tier one mid. It's dropping very quick from one liquid fire and a couple catapult shots. Ice path comes out. It's gonna hit at one and two creeps as well. Coddle blast comes out onto the morphling fissure. It gets it on three, but doesn't really block anyone off. Just some harassment. Ice path onto juice for Zeus. He gets an entangle. There's an entangle. He's dropping very low. Macro fire comes out. The Life Steel manages to infest into the Earth Shaker, and he's just going to have to back off. Getting clipped by that Illuminate hurts. Hurts a lot. Scouting Ice Path makes sure no one's just in the trees, and they're just going to put the bear up here, and no breaking down the radio Fortification comes out. Is. They're going to have to back. Coddle keeping everybody's mana up as well. Another Entangle onto Juice for Zeus. He waveforms away. Good Fissure Block coming out as well. Spectre's ulti po Spectre pops his ulti. Look to see if he goes onto this. No, he doesn't. He managed to get the Nyx Assassin. Earthshaker is very low. He's going to drop as well. Lightstreet has to rage away. Hopefully there's no Entangle. They see the Chen in the trees. They want him. Entangle comes out as well. Axe won't... Penance... Or sorry, uh, Hand of God comes out, but it's not enough to save him. They make an illusion of the Axe, and they got to watch out. If that thing starts to Helix, it's going to be a bad day. But they get the tower as well. It's three kills, so they're going to be very happy with that, the way that worked out. And I think without 
having a blink on the Earthshaker, how do you initiate into this five-man push? I mean, it's a Spectre, and so whenever you see Spectre, you think late game. Uh, there's an Echo Slime. You just walked into it, and Waveform comes through. He's going to clean up Captain Crunch as well, but the Earthshaker pays for it. He goes, tries to get the last hit on Trixie with the uh, Adaptive Strike, but it's not enough. They're chasing down Fruit Loops. And I think that's going to be all she wrote for that. But uh, just as I'm saying, how do you get initiation? They gets a Fissure, runs up, Echo's on three, and it was very nice. Still chasing, but Fruit's going to get that... Uh, Get that rune there, and he's almost—he's a thousand gold away from a relic. So not a fast radiance by any means, but a decent time after picking up um, picking up boots and a ring of health, because it's not won't be a naked radiance either. Bro, oh, what's that? Hey, you get a little shot. But what is uh, Weepix going for? He. She did have a lot more money than that. Is it on his bear? Oh, he's got a hyperstone, so he's probably going for an assault curious. Um, maybe a Mjolnir. I think the assault curious would be a lot better, personally, but both would be decent. They want to go an axe, but an axe with a vanguard is not necessarily a hero you really want to run at. He's probably going to go Crimson Guard after he finishes off his Blink Dagger. I think would be an excellent choice. But what I was mentioning before is they really need to let this Earthshaker get some farm. He needs a Blink Dagger. Or this Nyx Assassin. They have to be able to... Nyx is going Dagon. Uh-oh. I don't think that's good for S S Siren Songs here. I think I think they need to get a, some sort of way that they can infest... Like, Lester has to be able to infest in somebody and blink. I mean, you can also use the Morphling and infest the Morphling and have him waveform forward. And then pop out. But the thing is, Morphling wants to save his waveform for when he's hurt and needs to escape. Like, to go up high ground or just create that separation from the bear, specter, axe. Like, whatever it may be. Or dodge an ice path or, you know, whatever. Just Morphling things. But it's just, he's not uh, he's not going to be able to... I said he's not going to be able to close the gap by himself. Especially because he doesn't have open wounds. He's... For some reason, maxing beast, and now he does have a Midas, but I'm not sure when he picked that up. It probably seen a, a vendetta come out on the, on the side of Sir, Siren Songs here, but nothing so far. Looking for his level 11. But Loops, in the meantime, does pick up a relic at 19 minutes, so. 500 gold per minute. Maybe. What's his GPM right now? I don't, I don't know how to know that one. Keys. Uh, he said at 300, so probably 4 minutes. 4 minutes. We'll see a Radiance. So at 20, 24 minutes is when we're looking for a Radiance, which, I mean, isn't terrible. If he gets a kill, it'll be better. But we'll have to wait and see. See how his farm goes. And they do Vendetta, and they are going to look to go on the uh, Vector there, and I think that's going to be an easy kill. Haunt? Oh, manages to haunt the Earthshaker and get away. Earthshaker was near some of his teammates. Nice haunt plays coming up from Fruit Loops. Good stuff, man. There's an excellent Wasted Gank, Wasted Infest, and they're going to be able to get a lot of damage on this tower as well. Trix gets cut off a bit by Fissure, but he's nothing yet. Meanwhile, the bear is chasing down Colt Bear. Ripper. And they're kind of separated. Penance comes out. Uh oh. Weepix, what are you doing over here, buddy? You gotta get away. There's a Morphling here with the DD rune ready and waiting for you. Best do something about that bottom tower. Doing some damage. Adaptive Strike? Yeah, that was. Hits. Where, is, where are these guys' the teams? They're just man moding on each other. He waveforms into an ice path and gets stunned up, but he starts morphing to strength. Able to get away. Echo Slime comes out as well, but it just didn't do enough damage. They just heal through it. Who's that? They just easily heal through it and keep on moving. They get a Pro Man entangles onto the uh, onto the Chen there and onto the Morphling. Oh no, he's gonna go down. He's already morphed. Oh, lives with 60 health. That long range ice path, 
gonna think about throwing a dagger, juking around. Get stunned up. Still getting hit. One more strike, one more right click. No, he lives also lives with fifty health. Both these carries just just barely able to get away. Now we Axe, where are you? There he is. He's going for a Sange instead of a Blink. Not sure what it is with with uh, these guys not getting initiate Blink Daggers. Uh, do they not like the item? And they also really seem to like Heaven's Halberd. Which I can understand, but the Morphling doesn't hit that hard. Like if you... The Spectre hits a lot harder than he does. And the Morphling has got you know, an extra thousand gold on him. Well, a few levels. Good ice path coming out. Great some duration. One thing I didn't mention was they got this ward down and this one. So that's going to be some excellent uh, vision coming out for the side of Serial Killers. I think uh, it's a four staff coming out for the side of Jakiro. I think that's I think that's a good pickup. Normally you'd want to see Yules into ice path, especially up against the Morphling. Excuse me. Ugh. Get the guaranteed um, stun there, because then you can follow up with a call and a mana leak, maybe get an entangle. But looks like no, they, one thing they don't have is vision on the Roshan pit. Looks like they're just checking it, seeing if they were in there. Zeus for Zeus has got the surprise inside. Gonna look for somebody to go on, but I don't think you do this. I think you just. I think you just gotta farm and hope that you can uh, create some sort of advantage because I imagine it's still in favor of the Dire. Net worth is slowly dipping down, yeah. 7,500 in favor of the Dire. And you can just see it in the items. Here, like. Lifestealer's got a Midas and half of a um, an armlet. Chen, who didn't farm the jungle and. That's the last I'm going to say of it. Doesn't have anything. With Fruit Loops there, he's getting close to his relic. Or sorry, he's got his relic and he should be pretty much on his radiance. Does the rest be like 13? 13.50, yeah. So, another minute and a half, two minutes, depending on how his farm goes. Um, Coming for him. Meanwhile, the Axe, no blink, but he's got a Vanguard and a Sange. And then Weepix, I have to click on the bear to see what he's got. I, how close he is to that Maelstrom or Assault Curious. And it is an Assault Curious, so he's over halfway there. He's got the Plate Mail and the Hyper Stone, the two most expensive parts. He just needs about 1,800 for the recipe, and he'll have it. So, Pulper is... He does have a Dagon now, so... Now, if he starts getting pickoffs on this Keeper of the Light, and if he can, because that Vendetta hit, plus a Dagon, Mana Burn, Keeper's dead. Keeper is very, very, very dead, very quickly. So, I think if he can start finding pickoffs on that, I don't think he can go for the Jakiro. Jakiro's got 7 armor and 1,000 health, whereas Coddle's got, Coddle's got a fair bit more armor, but, oh, he's got the mech now, though. Hmm. Maybe it's a little harder than I thought. He's got to hit that stun. Vendetta hit stun, and then the Dagon Mana Burn, and he's got him. But still, I think it's I think it's going to be tough. And there's that Radiance for Spectre. So, come, he doesn't get it naked, but he gets it in the end. And I think this is where it's going to start to get really tough for the side of uh, Siren Songs. Because their Chen's going to go down. He's only got... He's got less than 900 health. Macropire onto Juice for Zeus comes out there. And look at the Radiance Burn. It's just melting them. There's nothing they can do. All that AoE damage. Dispersion working as well. Dagger comes out. Misses on the Chen. But he walks into it. He's going to get slowed. And he's just going to get burnt down. Two more right clicks. And he goes down as well. That's it. The Keeper does get picked off by the Nyx Assassin. So he does use that uh, the Dagon and the Impale as well as Vendetta. But this tower is going to drop very, very quickly. That bears liquid fire. Spectre with a double damage rune that he had bottled. Gun comes out, and they're not going to go for the next. They're just going to objectively game, which I think is good. So, 
I think this is an excellent, a much better draft coming out on the side of Stereo Killers than the previous game. For that said, Fruit Loops is dropping low. He's gonna need Nice Path to save him. Unfortunately, Life Sealer is still raged. He does manage to get that kill. That's a lot of gold. Trixie with a good uh, call, but he's getting chopped down. There's too many things hitting him. He does manage to. They do finally bring him down, so they lose their tower and a couple of heroes, but on the respawns, they get some kills. Nix Assassin's looking for a kill. He's got his mana boots up, so he can get off the Dagon, but he doesn't find everybody. Everybody's able to TP out. So not able to protect their carries, but now Spectre's just going to build into tank items. He's just going to tank up and let the Radiance and the Desolate, or sorry, Dispersion damage just go to town. Nyx does go for a second level in Dagon. Meanwhile, I think I want to say the Bears got his uh, Assault Cures. No, uh, 300 out. Four, sorry, 400, 500 out. SP, I think, is 1250. 13. But so he's uh, 600, well, 550 out from it. Um. I wouldn't be surprised if they went to do Roshan, they can use the bear to tank it, and then just kind of 5 man it down. They've got a mech to keep everybody up, they do put out a ward, so they're thinking the same thing. There's nothing here, and there's no wards here, so they'll know about that one the next time they walk over there. The bear is seeing people, and Siren Song knows about this. Shikiro four steps forward, gets the... Uh, Ice Path onto Gravity Muffins there. He's looking for an Entangle from the bear. Oh, but he's too far away. Good Fissure comes out. Blocks off the entire team. Unfortunately, uh, Sugar Crisp and Captain Crunch are stuck in the trees there. But they're just going to throw... Haunt comes out. Cold Bear is taking damage from this. And Fruit Loops gets a double kill. Just from Haunt. Holla holla get Dalla. So that's a nice amount of money for him. A cool six, seven hundred dollars, seven hundred gold in the bank, and looks like they're gonna want to push this tower on this. Chen have finally got a point in Holy Persuasion. That's where this mud golem came from, but they're just gonna chew through it. Unfortunately, Liquid Fire does not bother the mud golems. They are made of the rocks. We got more fun with surprise inside. Nice impale comes out from Cold Pair, but no follow up yet. Mana Lee comes onto him. There we go. We get a waveform in with a uh, Echo Slam and the um, Infest Bomb. And they get two quick kills again on the Spectre and the Axe. Meanwhile, Lone Druid is just hitting creeps. He's got that uh, got that Assault Curious whenever he wants to get it. Nix Assassin is chasing this Coddle. He should be able to find him. He is a little bit faster. Let's see if he wants to dive the tower. Oh! There's the stun comes out, mana burn, Dagon, there it is, and gets the kill. And that's all she wrote. Neek, sneak, 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 sneak. Zeus for Zeus. There you go. Farming up the jungle. He's getting close to that uh that um Eagle song, at which point the shotgun could start to be real. And now when he does when he does finish his ethereal blade, I think it's going to be I think it'll be good for them. They'll be well, obviously it'll be good for them. Dire. But I mean it'll be it'll be something that they can change the fight because they can quickly get rid of that Jakiro. They can do a serious amount of damage to that specter who just, I think this casual ring of health is going to probably look for a heart, which I don't think is a bad thing at all. You should be farming the jungle camps, buddy. You're doing boop to boop to boop, 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 and back, and then anything in the lane. But that's what you do. Because the Radiance Burn is not helping you kill them dragons. Not even a little bit. So, they have good vision up to cover their jungle as well. And if Trigger Chris can keep this lane push out, oh, he is going for his eggs, that's good. Finally, we get a blink dagger on Gravity Muffins. So, the couple good echoes he's had, we can look to see them become great echoes. Tricks on that axe. Got a thousand gold in the bank, probably looking for a blink dagger. 
Wheat Bix. Just chilling. Micro in the bear. I don't forget what's going on. Here we see two golems engaged in Mortal Kombat as they derp at each other. And that one is going to win. Derp, 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 derp. What's your bear doing? It does have a full assault cure finish, so if he gets near a tower, it's going to be a rough day for that tower. Also makes the bear much, much more difficult to deal with. Another nice ward placement coming out from from the uh, side of serial killers, but this this one would have seen that one, seen them place it. So if it gets dewarded, they'll be they won't be surprised. Well, that's alright, guys. I was up early this morning watching Star Ladder. A little tired. Um, it's not the game's boring. It's just that I've been up a lot. Oh, he's gone. So Fruit Loops, working towards that uh, Eagle Song, trying to get that farm out. How? Or sorry, not Eagle Song. Reaver to really get to get that heart to tank up. Meanwhile, Morphling's got his Eagle Song, so he's on, he only needs. Uh, 600 more gold, and he'll have that ethereal blade. Unless he decides to go butterfly, which I would be shocked at. I want to see. I want to see this next be a little more aggressive. Looking, they don't have any sentries out out around. Oh, sorry, just dropped one. But they're gonna go for Roche. I think this is a really good call with the um, assault curse now. That little bit of minus armor. <clears throat> and extra damage coming out from coming from it and the attacks being whatnot, they'll be able to take this down very quick. And Jakiro there with the liquid fire, Rashawn attacks so slow. Good slam comes off and he gets halberded. That work? I guess so. So it's gonna be a good quick Rashawn, and I think they should do this every time it's up. And just keep it up. So the Chen finally gets a mech. I'll help them out as well, but hmm, pause comes out here. Not sure why, but I think it's just lag. Let's let's look at the uh, the vision. Or what are those hotkeys set to? I don't remember what those hotkeys are set to. There we go. This is what the dire are playing with. What they can see. So if you look at, they got all this nice up there, this big chunk there. What the hell is up with that? There. Well, that's just weird. Anyways, they have so much map vision just all throughout here. Meanwhile, ooh, major disconnect coming out as I'm talking about vision. Look at the radiant. There, they can see this creep wave, this one, and that one. And major lag coming up for everybody. Not sure what's going on here. Hopefully, everybody can reconnect. The Morphling is on his way back. Let's take a look at what the ping says. Holy shit! So, some serious ping coming up from everybody there. Did that disconnect? And everybody's going to reconnect and hope that everything works out for it. Meanwhile, gold graphs aren't in favor by only about 5,000, so SS has been bringing it back a little bit. 5,000 in favor of the Dire, and experience is basically dead even. Um, other than that, not a whole lot to talk about here. I've kind of already gone over all the item choices. A bit, I wonder what his, not sure what his next item will be. He doesn't, doesn't really have a whole lot of gold towards it, whatever it is. Cuddles. Working towards that, sorry, that eggs upgrade. 
Looks like we'll be coming out, you know, not, not too long. Depends how many creeps he hits. Fruit Loops, he's got 4,000 gold in the bank. So go buy that heart, buddy. Go buy it. You want that heart. I think the heart is about 1,000 effective HP. Once the strength and just base HP is converted. Not to mention you just get that sustain. Gravity Mushrooms has a blink. Nyx. Dagon 3. This is only about 200 away from getting that, uh, that scepter. Scepter. Yeah, well, the ghost scepter, but I was... The, um, E-Blade. Chen. As a mech. And Lifestealer. He's got a Basher and an Armlet now. I'm assuming that's a Desolator. the pings right oh it looks like it runs back normal good honesty coming out from uh juice for zeus and the game's back underway so we'll see what they decide to do here see if this voice overlay is fixed Okay, so looks like that's fixed. That was a strange appearance. Axe getting close to that blink dagger. Regeneration. Not a whole lot. And the coddle, unsurprisingly just kind of walks up and dies. A bit of an angry pain coming up from Wheat Bix. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? But I feel like that could happen a lot to this Keeper of the Light. Nyx Assassin is almost level 16. Just kind of roam around and find him. Especially now that he's probably got a Dagon. Almost Dagon 4. Yeah, Dagon 3. Hmm, Morphling is having more weird problems. Apparently his key binding has got reset somehow. Not sure what's up with that. The good matter pause coming out from Captain Crunch. Good on you. Oh, maybe his are a little wiki too. X running right through a tree. Go mid flight. I don't really know what to say. I've basically gone over everything. They're just kind of farming. Neither team seems really convinced to take a fight. Both just kind of farming. Fruit. I, I think this favors um, serial killers though, as the specter is going to be very difficult to kill, even with more fling. Here, let's do a little quick little bit of math. So let's say he stays at about this much agility. That's a B3. So he's got 166 agility. This is multiplier, I believe. Two. 
plus 80. So that's about 412 coming out from that, and then times. So if he's E bladed, that's 576 damage from the adaptive strike. And then a little bit less, probably about 500 coming out from the ethereal blade. So about 1,000 damage for the adaptive strike, plus another 400 for the waveform, we'll say. That's like 15, just 1,400 damage, 1,300 before resistances, or sorry, 13, 13, 1,200 after resistances, more or less, from his full combo there. So that's the keeper. That's the keeper of the light, Ejikiro, who Radiant picked up the Aegis, burden. and it looks like they're gonna go high ground. We've got the bear, looking at. Uh, oh, nice echo slam comes out there on four, and they quickly burst down one. That keeper died instantly. What with all the illusions and whatnot. Fruit Loops is managing to dive though. He's got a lot of health and a lot of effective armor. Dagon comes out, finishes off the Jakiro for a second time. They managed the burn brings down the Earth Shaker though, and they take down the Lifestealer, buy back on the Shaker. And after what was a beautiful Echo Slam on the entire creep wave, instantly killed the Caudal and the Jakiro, basically. Nothing. Oh, we get the waveform kill onto the Spectre, who already used Haunt, so he can buy back, but it doesn't even matter. Trix is just trying to finish this tower. Lone Druid comes back with his bear, and they're going to get the tower. They disarmed the Earthshaker, but this is a uh, bit of a mercy kill in there. Or a mercy sacrifice. So Weepex manages to live that. He just hit buildings the whole time, but I imagine he's now going for a Maelstrom as well. But that was a Beautiful echo coming out on the side of uh, Gravity Muffins. Still not quite able to take the fight, though. They do manage to get... Th they got four kills compared to their four kills, but there was also two buybacks there. I wanted. To, there, I believe there was two. There might have, it might have only been one. Oh, okay, it, was, it was just the one on the Earthshaker. But that's... I want to say everybody died but the Morphling. Yeah, everybody died with the Morphling and their Shaker bot pack, plus they got a tower. So it's... It was a hold, but it was an expensive hold, and if they... If, if they're smart about this, they'll just go right back top lane and push again. As they don't have long cooldowns. Like, even Haunt... I mean, Haunt's 120 seconds, but it'll be up fairly quickly. Echo will be up again, though. It is not ungodly long like black hole this is going to be a dead here though vendetta strike oh good four staff from captain crunch x assassin unfortunately doesn't get the uh the carapace off in time but or didn't get the uh, impale off in time was a little greedy maybe if he, he'd just gone for the mana burn dagon would have got him i think it would have but he was a little greedy and went for that stun So his axe is probably going to pick up a reaver right now. Yep. And he'll be going for a heart. So he's getting very tanky. I think a Shiva's would be better though. Honestly. All that extra attack speed slow. But. Teach their own. Chen. Does pick up, uh, finally upgrade his brown boots. He's been playing the very much the hard five. Jakiro does have an invisible room. We'll be looking. They're going to look to go in this axe. Morphling waveforms in. Adapt to strike Yblade, but not that much. He's still alive. Haunt comes in. But that's not something you want to come into. And Zeus, Ju Juice for Zeus has quietly gone godlike. I didn't realize he hadn't died yet. And he's going to probably be looking to go Scotty. As well. Meanwhile, the Chen almost dies just from the haunt. Morphling aggressively waveforms in, but he's got his team right there as well. Oh, whiffed fissure, but okay. Fruit Loops throws a dagger through the trees and is looking to skirt his way out of here. He's he is slowed down by the uh, by the Chen. Meanwhile, Morphling manages to chase down the Caudal. Chen does drop to the uh, sorry to the Radiance Burn and Dispersion, but I think Fruit Loops is going to be able to turn this. Oh, right click him, buddy. Right click. 
decides against it. He's going to heal up very quickly. He is going for a Diffusal, which will mean he does a lot more damage in these fights. It also help for burning the Morphling's mana, so he can't morph to morph as much uh, strength. And he can chase a little. He'll be able to chase a little bit better. So I don't mind the pick up too much. And he does have it right now. So we'll have to see next time he hits he hits R how well that does. But more kills racking up from this Morphling. Let's take a look at net worth. Does he? Okay, the the pretty even. The Spectre is top by about just over a thousand. Then the uh. Or, but then it's the Life Stealer and the Lone Druid are basically tied for that second position. And we do have a Diffusal picked up. That's a, straight into the Diffusal too. That's a choice I, want, I didn't, hope you noticed that the patch notes changed it. That it's, the burn is the same at all levels. So if you're just getting it for the burn damage, then you might as well only get one and save yourself that money. And then you have those extra eight charges because you can only refresh it once. But all good. So they do pick off the Jakiro there. I imagine that was the the Nyx. No, it wasn't actually him. Haunt comes out from the Spectre and he's gonna quickly kill take down this uh this Chen as well. And Nyx has taken a fair amount of burn damage there. So the haunt for the Chen, but they lost the keeper and the Jakiro. But I think this Spectre is starting to get very fat. Uh, I'd like to see him go for a Butterfly next. That way the Morphling and the Life Shield have a very hard time attacking him. Yeah. Meanwhile, this Life Shield, he has picked up a Basher and a Maelstrom. That Midas is starting... I'd say that Midas has definitely paid off now. And he picks up another Mithril Hammer. So maybe... I don't know if he's going for a Desolator now, but I can't see it being a BKB. Let's see what he decides to go for. This for Zeus is working for that Scotty. So once he has that, he'll be incredibly tanky. Let's see if he goes and does this Aquila. He wants about 400. He'd be pretty close to finishing it. Apparently he's about 400 out. 475. But, and quietly, Terror Killers is going to pick up another Roshan. Maybe this will be what they need to finally break the base. And they give it to Spectre, which I can understand why they would do that. But I think it would be a lot better on, like, the Axe. Excuse me. Or that Lone Druid. Has the Spectre should be able to should just save for buyback save haunt go in onto the, the that top racks with his team he dies buys back haunts in and turn the fight that way especially if he can get like a bait out the excellent echo slam an, an echo slam from uh gravity muffins here all right we'll see waveform onto the vector illusions we could take them down but we do have an infest on the Morphling, and the Dire is pushing down the mid lane. So, slowly everybody's grouping up. They can run into the Spectre here. He throws out a dagger. Colt Bear is there. He's got a dagger in five now as well. He can burst this Jakiro. Doesn't want to risk it. A little too worried about the counter initiation. Vendetta's still got a long time left, so. We'll be alright with that. Where's the Lone Druid in here and all this? Is, there he is. Maelstrom is picked up on the bear, so the bear is attacking very fast now. And, he, yep, there he goes on the Jakiro. Good four staff. Nice Echo Slam comes through, and they're chaining the stuns together nicely. We get the uh, infest damage coming out as well. Haunt by the Spectre quickly picks up two, makes it a two for one. He is going to pick up the Keeper, but the Morphling goes down. He's got buyback, and in the base, does manage to pick off the Life Stealer. So that's the godlike spree getting picked up as well. Who got the kill on Morphling? That was the lone druid. So excellent plays coming out for the for uh, the side of serial killers. They managed to tank that engagement, and I guess you just you build a heart on everybody, and you're good to go. 
Aegis wasn't even popped. That's mid racks and going to be top racks. I think they're going to that that's going to be GG. Morphling could have bought back, but with no team to support him, I don't blame him at all. You just go in and die again. So, gonna slowly chip away at that that racks there. The radiance top racks did make it. Is it bear guy? So long to oh, the oh, there it is. And Coddle from that does have his eggs now. Looks like do they want to go bottom? Still the Aegis. Their team coming up. They could easily. Nyx is rotating in there. It's probably going to look for the Vendetta hit, but Fruit Loops is just going to wander away. So just back to farming, I guess. Slowly let the creeps push in. And they don't really have a good lineup to push out creeps very quickly. I mean, Lifestealer's got a Maelstrom, but that's about it. And then the Morphling's only got Waveform, but that's not a, a spammable spell. That said, he does now have his Scotty, so his shotgun's going to be doing upwards of 1,500 damage, probably closer to 16. So that... And just pick somebody and burst him down. This next assassin's gonna get hurt. We get the Vendetta hit. He does manage to get the Impale this time. No Dagon yet. There it is. Finishes off the Jakiro. Nice Fissure. Echo Slam comes through, but onto Fruit Loops. He's too tanky. Spectre hits hits his Haunt, and that's slowly burning through everybody. Morphling has to burst down one of the uh, Illusions. And that's another three kills. Spectre's still alive. He's got his Aegis. He doesn't care. He's just gonna keep pushing. Bears up, but not in range to actually attack the Morphling. Spectre's coming back, and the Desolate damage is coming through, and that's going to be a kill for the Morphling. Fruit Loops goes godlike, and he just he got too farmed. GG well played, comes out from Gravity Muffins. And that's the game. So, a one for one in this best of two group round robin stage. Each team taking a game. Um, thanks for joining me for the games. If you're watching on YouTube, you can subscribe, comment, and like if you enjoy it. Or if you want to flame me or the players, go ahead and comment away. Um, follow, if you're watching on Twitch live, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And you can also follow me on Twitter at WolfDota. Stay on the side. And I'll let you know when I have VODs up or next time I'm streaming or anything like that. But we'll have to uh, wait and see until next time. Thanks for joining me, and have a good night.